How does it feel to go from saving the president to now being the president? Well, no, I, I kind of look at it as I've got to just gotten older, <laughs> you know, so it's it's a demotion, if you will. A couple friends of mine that, that worked on the pilot made more than a few jokes uh, about that I'd finally gotten old enough to play the president. The character is something that I love playing, but more importantly, uh, when I first took a look at the script, uh, the story was something I wanted to be a part of telling. Uh, and so I couldn't be more thrilled about the opportunity. Do you think you would make a good president? There's 330 million plus people in this country. I think all of us, when we voice our criticisms uh, of politicians, we voice them from a very narrow perspective. Uh, and I think very rarely actually think about what it would actually entail for us to be the president of the United States. Just having kind of explored it in my head f for this show, I have a little more empathy uh, for anyone who would take on that kind of responsibility. Well, historically, I mean, you have to understand it's, it's, uh, it's not the most fair answer, but my family uh, I'm from Canada, and my grandfather was leader of the NDP, uh, provincially in Saskatchewan and then federally, and was responsible for bringing in health care to Canada. And by that I mean universal health care top to bottom. Uh, and that's been something that my family is incredibly proud of. So that would be the first thing that I would probably do personally, is that I would make sure that there was universal health care. Uh, not just insurance, but universal health care for all people living in this country and for people visiting the country as well. Two presidents, we've got Fitz on Scandal, Tony Goldwyn plays him, and you. Who do you think, you know, between the, the, the two would be better? I would never get into making that kind of a comparison. I have seen parts of the show. I think they do an incredible job. I would never be foolish enough. This is maybe the most political thing I've said all day. <laughs> I would never be foolish enough to compare one actor's work to another. What's up, guys? I'm Juliana Rancic, and you're watching the Live from the Red Carpet YouTube channel. Subscribe today, then be sure to check out our other Live from the Red Carpet videos right here.